Gary now is going to demonstrate another dynamic stretch called the gorilla pose with the windmill. So he's going to start back out in the neutral plank position and he's going to walk his feet up to his hands. So the gorilla position is what we're looking for. He's going to take his right hand and put it under his left foot and he's going to windmill up keeping his neck in a neutral position. This is where you still want to keep your hips square but you want to make sure that all four corners of your feet, big toe, small toe, and both sides of heels are touching the ground equally. Now he's going to switch sides and do the same thing for five to six more reps. After five to six more reps, he's going to place the hands, left hand under left foot, and do another windmill each time. Ensure this, the hips stay square and the neck stays square and he's going to switch sides. This ensures that you get some flexibility within your hips. After five or six more reps, he's gonna go back down to the plank position and he is complete.